All right, this one's gonna be on Amu. It is an old school P2P client. And this one, I started using this because, uh, uh, you know, I I try to get the terminal um, text user interface for this, but it doesn't exist. So you gotta use uh, GYs for this. Anyways, um, I actually never used, you know, um, eDonkey or Condemnia in the past. So I have like no nostalgia for it and I really don't know too much about it, but uh, this is the kind to use if you want to do like old school um, PDP stuff here with those two protocols. Uh, so the two protocols or the two network they call here is Condemnia, aka the CAD network, and ED2K, uh, aka eDonkey2000. Uh, the CAD network here, this one is decentralized and I believe it uses like nodes and stuff like that to, um, you know, search for files from other users. And the ED2K, it's centralized, so you actually have to connect to a server to, um, you know, search uh, for other users and stuff like that. Uh, as far as the ports that you need to open, you need to either manually port forward, you know, some of these ports here, either TCP or UDP, they'll tell you here. Uh, but if you have UPnP enabled in your uh, router, which stands for uh, Universal Plug Plug and Play, yeah, Universal Plug and Play, and then all you gotta do is check this box and your router will automatically open the ports for you. So it looks something like this in your router. Like this is my router settings here. You go to UPnP, make sure it's turned on. And um, you know the program, if it needs to open a port, then it'll do it automatically. All right. So that's the way I have it in mind. Now, how do you know if it works? Um, and basically, if you uh, have it all set up and everything correctly, uh, at the bottom here, over in the right um, hand corner here, it'll say connected, all right? Uh, if you have firewall uh, on your system, you probably have to, you know, open your firewall settings and change it and all that too. But anyways, after you have it connected, um, that's how you know it's all good. Other stuff you want to do here, if you want to change your nickname, if you like, it doesn't really matter because uh, you don't really need a login. Um, was that download directories here right where you want to send the completed ones incompleted directory and if you want to share a directory just navigate um to you know different uh, what was that directories and then right click on it and then it will actually share that directory right uh all these other stuff just leave by default you don't really need to care about that now as far as um Oh, I was at the networks here. They have these default servers here, all right? And I believe these were like the last remaining servers uh, for eDonkey. And you can see like, uh, you know, the servers that I'm connected to here, this one here, uh, it has um, 67K users. And these are how many files they have in there. Uh, so you can see the different servers have different uh, users and files and stuff like that. Uh, you do need to connect to one, um, and then from there you actually search for all these other servers that you have on your list. And if you have like a, like your own custom, um, or you, ha you if you find like another, um, what's that, uh, eDonkey um, server, you can actually add it in here, and uh, you know you can s search from it. So I did find uh, uh, some of them that are missing. Let's see here. You know, let's say you go on the internet and you find like another one. Uh, most of these are in there already and most of these are actually outside of the US, which is a good thing You know, uh, hopefully it's in Russia or something like that where they don't care about, you know, uh, these type of things, right? You don't want it to be in the US uh, But let's say, you know, you find one in here. Let's say for example uh, This one here we can copy uh, the the URL and We can go back in here, right and add uh, the servers so if I want to add this thing here all right um, we'll do commit and I'll add it to our list and hopefully you'll find it right there you go we'll add it to a list I think we already have that one do we um, I don't think so but let's you know let's say if you added like another server that you find like I saw someone in like in China too like this one's in China maybe it's a good thing not sure how last time it's updated is 2020 so let's say you find one for like your country maybe you know uh, if you're in Asia or something like that uh, they probably share different files from uh, you know US users and stuff like that right so that might be that might be a good thing 
But anyways, if you want to add in uh, extra servers, you can search on the internet. Um, and if they have a server that you want to add, then you add it in here, right? Now, as far as the CAD network, uh, it's just using nodes, and I'm not sure exactly about it because, like I said, I, I never used this back in the day, so I don't know like all the, uh, the ins and outs of it. But uh, you know, I, I started using this um, client uh, recently, and a bunch of other P2P client um, that I'll talk about later on. But this one is really good, you know, um, for old school P2P stuff. Now, if you want to search for some stuff. Kind of like old school Napster, you just search for, let's say, for Ubuntu here. <clears throat> right, and if I want to download some of this, um, what do we got? Let's say I want to download, um, you know, these Ubuntu ISOs. We'll double click on that and it will go to our downloads. All right, and you see that they'll connect to some of these peers. And you can see uh, what are they using here. This one is using uh, Emu, uh, ML Donkey, Amu. So most of these folks are from, uh, you know, are, are using a Windows client. Uh, we have some Linux folks here, all right. Uh, so that's how you know, uh, you know, you can download from uh, different folks here. But we'll stop this here. We'll do uh, just highlight and hit delete if you want to delete something, to delete it. But uh, that's our search results for uh, local. So they have different types here. You have uh, local, global, and CAD. So the CAD one is for you know the CAD network. But uh, the local one here, this one is searching just for uh, that one server that we're connected to. So this one server here. <clears throat> All right. So we're just connecting to whatever they have in this server. But if you want to search everything from all these other servers that we have in our list, uh, we can use the global one here. And hopefully this one will give us more results. Uh, we'll see. All right, so it gives us a little more results here, like, uh, you know, 900 or whatever. And if we want to download that, uh, real simple, we do this ISO here. What is it, this ISO? Um, should be in our download now, right? There you go. So there's downloads here. And if I want to search the CAD network, uh, just search the CAD and we'll search Ubuntu also. <coughs> and there you go. This is the CAD. And if I want to download, uh, let's say this is Ubuntu manual, they'll click on that and it should be, you know, sending it to our uh, download uh, options here, right? Anyways, uh, we'll stop this one here. Stop. Uh, what else can we do in here? So you can do like filters. You know, if you want to filter it out um, by, let's say, I want to do videos only, you know, music only, right? Or even by extension. So if I want to do like just zip files only or ISOs only, then I can do that. Min max, stuff like that. Really not that hard. Uh, they do have like, uh, what was that? But if you want to sort this, you know, it, because um, some of these files are like you're not going to get any uh, downloads if you have like one source only. So this one's kind of like uh, Cedars and Leechers. So the more source you have, the faster it will download, right? Because you, you're connecting to like multiple folks uh, that has like, you know, the, the different sources. Um. What else in there? So this one has a link. So let's say, for example, um, this EDTK link. For example, if I want to get something in the bottom here, uh, that's not a good. Okay, let's say for example this one here. If I right click on this, I can see that you can copy this uh, EDTK link, kind of like what we did with that server that we added. But this one's for the file. So it's kind of like a magnet link. If you use torrents before, then, um, you know, you, you, um, tell your friend, Hey, uh, you know, uh, you know, copy this link and then paste it into this uh, client and it will actually start downloading that. So if you do commit here, it should, uh, end up in our, um, you know, download section here. Right. So pretty much, uh, you know, that's how that works. I, I like that. Uh, anything else in here that I need to explain? Not really. I mean, you have your uh, section here for um, your file sharing. 
All right. So whatever you download is going to be um, in your share folders also. Right. Then you have a messaging. I mean, I don't know if you want to add friends in here, but you can do that and import stuff for like that. But I don't think anyone really cares about that. Anything else? No, not not the other stuff. Uh, we don't care about. But really, it's just you know the search and the download. Real simple, right? Uh, anything else? Not really. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, I've been using this. It is really good. It, it does download fast. You know, depending on you know if you want to sort it by sources and stuff like that. Um, uh, and some of the files here I couldn't find on the internet, and this one some folks still have some some of those files that I uh added to my collection and for the most part it downloads quick like I said if you have um, you sort it by the sources and all that um, anything else in here uh, so that's pretty much it you know I, I don't really know too much about this um, you know uh, protocol I never used it in the past uh, I only use like Napster and Kazaa and uh, I went to BitTorrent and everyone back but BitTorrent's been uh, no good to me. I'm getting a bunch of letters in the mail, so I gotta try to, to uh, use some of these old school um, clients. And I really wish that someone created a text user interface so I can use this in straight terminal, but uh, you know, there doesn't exist. So that's why I'm using GUI P2P client here. And this one is Amio, works on uh, you know any Linux operating system. Should be in your default repositories. Anywho, that is. Uh, aim you. Uh, if you want to do old school P2P stuff, check your local laws uh, just in case. Otherwise, you know, you might get uh, a knock on the door or a letter in the mail that you don't want. Uh, but, anyways, I've uh, been using it. I enjoy it. And I'll talk some more of the other protocols uh, in the coming future for P2P stuff. That'll be it for this one.